Okay, in terms of our soil degradation, this is what I say. Your particular enterprise, um, I'm making generalizations, but your particular enterprise will, will fit within any of these sorts of, of um, parameters. So whatever our parent rock was will basically predicate what our dirt is. And if we look after our dirt and put organic matter into it, then it will tell us what our soil's going to be. And then how we use that soil then will tell us how we're going to have to um, fix up, repair, remediate that particular dirt to get a good agricultural soil. Acid soils are a problem in Australia and where you've got um, 750 millimetres or thereabouts, uh, it tends to be a, a rainfall figure where acid soils uh, predominate and certainly um, make it a little more difficult to deal with, which means you're going to have to work harder with the organic matter input to be able to uh, get a soil functioning again. Um, so a lot, of the, a lot of the great growing soils, the good great growing soils, for example, are calcareous, um, a, lot of, a lot of calcium. Uh, so it depends on, on what sort of soil you've got as to how you're going to have to work with it to get uh, an outcome. And everyone will be different, uh, but they'll have similarities. They'll still have the same organisms, the same microbes, the, the same protozoa, the same fungi. Um, and that's what breaks my heart with conventional, with conventional um, farming. Being a plant pathologist or being a, a mycologist, a fungal person, um, the, the, the one organism that is lost from the soil with conventional farming more than anything else are the fungi. They just, they just are not there. And, and that is a terrible, terrible situation. Organic matter, um, basically plant material, uh, uh, hydrogen ions, so pH uh, related, um, carbon dioxide in water, you've got a weak acid, and so you get those breakdowns of the, um, the, 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 the elements that are locked into the soil, so pH is very important. Um, and then because of that loss of structure, then that's going to affect our crop production regardless of what the crop is, whether it's pasture, whether it's grapevines, whether it's, it's lettuce, whether it's um, you know, some sort of annual crop, um, the production is going to be affected because of the loss of structure of the soil. And once you lose structure, then you're losing your microorganisms, uh, you're having problems with water retention, you're going to lose a lot more water, and your organic matter is, is going down. So the whole thing is interrelated, and you can't just take out one particular aspect and deal with that. You have to deal with the soil and the plant and the environment as a whole. It's all one thing. They're all interrelated.